biggest impact I think is being successful. You know, you never know on a journey that you take if you're gonna, you know, find work. 51 and here I am, I, you know, work three years now, you know, and it's just been absolutely wonderful. At the beginning, I applied at five or six different places and it was all casual again and it was like living on edge because I didn't have this. You know, you didn't know if you were gonna get a day here and a day, it was really tough. But eventually as it went down the road, it, you just found your niche and you know, I tried facility and you know, it just kind of wasn't what I really, I really wanted home support. You know, they didn't call me back for about a month, but in the meantime, I already had my full-time position at this other place. And so I took it too, because I just, that was, it was my goal to, be with home support it was something that I really wanted to go to house to house and for me it was just to take it all for right now and I still do it I still do both jobs and to be sitting in my home is just absolutely a miracle I never thought raising three boys on my own and always dreaming to own something and here I am after taking my course working my butt off for three years here I am today sitting in my townhouse that's mine my life has just been so happy and just so fulfilled and thankful for Open Door Group and the workers that are in there that, you know, walked me through to give me the guidance and the help and the tears and the hugs and the warmth and the, you know, to push me to, you know, to show me that I can do this. I really thank them. It's, it's a really nice, uh, warm feeling to have that in the community that people care. So just really go out. What's in your heart and your dreams, you know? I, I wasn't ready to give up because that was my passion. I wanted to work with elders. I, I wanted it. And so I did the miles and it got me somewhere. And I've been the happiest. So keep to your dreams and reach out.